thanks very much for inviting me here today. I'm very happy to be able to share a bit about our digital preservation journey at the Houses of the Oireachtas Library. I'm going to begin by giving a bit of background information about the library. Um, I'll tell you about our digital collections and the technical infrastructure that we currently have in place for storage and access. I want to talk about what digital means to us at the library and put that in the broader context of the strategic goal of the House of the Oireachtas to be a digital parliament. Um, then I'll talk in more detail about the digital preservation work that has been underway in recent years. And finally, I'll share some of the learnings and challenges that have come out of that. So the Oireachtas Library was formally established in 1924. We've expanded considerably in recent years, and we currently have 15 staff members, including 10 professional librarians. We work very closely with the Parliamentary Research Service, and we are generally known as the Library and Research Service. There's also a third unit in our section, the Records Management Unit, and they are responsible for business records, FOI and data protection. And they are in the very early stages of building the first parliamentary archive as well. So we intend to be working very closely with them on that in the coming years. And the archivist and records manager in that unit is working with us on digital preservation as well. Our central remit is to provide information and research services to support the work of the Doyle and Shannon committees and individual members. So we're a closed library, but we do provide access from time to time to external researchers who need to consult uh, print materials in our collections. But for the most part, our users are the members of the Doyle and Shannon and their staff and the staff of the Oireachtas. So we're acquiring digital collections in two ways at the moment. The first is through digitization. We've done extensive digitization of our special collections over the last uh, 12 years. The biggest of which is the former reference library of the Chief Secretary's office in Dublin Castle. So we've quite a variety of map and manuscript, periodical and pamphlet and book materials in there. The library is also responsible for managing the process of laying documents before the houses. And that means that government departments and public agencies are obliged, usually by statute, to submit their annual reports and financial statements and other administrative documents to the Doyle and Shannon for parliamentary scrutiny. So we've quite a substantial collection of those official publications from 1922 and we digitized about 70,000 of them and made them available and more recently we digitized our collection of parliamentary bills. The other way we're acquiring digital collections is through deposit of born digital materials. So we actually digitalized the procedure of laying documents before the houses about 10 years ago. Up to that point, it was a completely paper-based system, but now government departments and uh, public agencies can submit electronic copies and PDF of those annual reports and other documents um, directly to our digital repository. So we take in about 2000 of them a year. And we also take in the research publications of the Parliamentary Research Service and the Parliamentary Budget Office in the Oireachtas. We get about 150 to 200 of them a year. Access copies for everything at the moment are PDFA and PDF. And that includes even very image-based content like maps or historical political cartoons. The vast majority of that content is text searchable. Some of our PDFs aren't because we have relatively little control over the types of PDFs that we get from external submitters. Um, we do have TIFF and JPEG from 
digitization projects, but our system is not currently configured to provide access to them for people. Our digital repository is called Novation and it's provided to us and managed for us by PTFS. We're cloud storage based. Um, we moved from servers in 2019, and that's actually the way that the Parliament is moving as, as a whole um, in terms of technical infrastructure. And we do have a separate glacier storage account for TIFFs and other preservation files. Um, so digital for us as a library has been a really deliberate um, strategic focus really for the last 15 years or so we have a digital first acquisitions and collecting policy so we're acquiring very little print materials now for our users we've done a lot of digitization and we're continuing to digitize our special collections and we intend to do so for the next few years and um, that has been really um, valuable for us as a closed library in particular that we can actually make all of this content available to people who otherwise would not be able to access it. We're continuing to work on technical projects related to the documents laid system as well. And for the Houses of the Oireachtas, it has been a strategic goal for some time now to be a digital parliament. There's a substantial digital transformation program underway. So there are multiple technical projects happening across different units. Um, there's been a strong strategic focus as well on openness and engagement. And that means things like open data, um, making sure that the, the parliamentary output, like debates and bills and things, are available in digital format. But it's also it also involves a focus on um, education and outreach and on culture and heritage. And the decade of centenaries has been a major driver of that. We work a lot more now with the web team on creating content for the website using our digital collections. And the centenary of the first Dáil in 2019 was, was particularly important for everybody, but certainly for us, and if there's anything that I can pinpoint as uh, prompting us down this path of digital preservation and into taking a very active role on it, it's that when we sat around as a team discussing what kind of projects we were going to do for Doyle 100, we started asking the question, well, where are our TIFFs and JPEGs and our, our high quality image files that we want to use to be creating content and promoting our collections and asking those questions prompted a whole other series of questions about how we are creating and curating digital collections and that really coalesced into what is now an active digital preservation working group the membership at the moment consists of the head of library, the archivist and records manager, the special collections librarian and the senior librarian for content and systems. But I'm hoping that our membership will expand. We began by drafting a strategy, but I'm actually going to come back to that a little bit later. We also drafted a substantial action plan and we've divided that into short term, medium term and long term priorities. We meet monthly. And we have quite a strong CPD commitment as part of the group. So between meetings, um, each member is expected to do something for CPD, whether it's attend a webinar, read a blog post or an article, if someone has time the, to do a training course. And then when we sit down together for our meetings, we share learnings with each other from that. So to come back to the strategy that we had written, when it came to reviewing that strategy quite recently, we decided that um, we really felt that real success in digital preservation was going to come if there was an, an organization-wide approach and consensus about it. So internal engagement has been particularly important to us 
and especially this year, we've been talking a lot more to, to our ICT, uh, to the web team who are dealing with a lot of digital data as well, and to high level stakeholders and decision makers in the organization. We have reached out to the community. So we're talking to our neighbors and peers in other organizations, talking to them about um, shared digital preservation issues, and people have been extremely generous with their time. We joined the Digital Preservation Coalition this year, and that has already been invaluable to us in terms of opening up the community even more, opening up training and information, um, templates and workflows that we can use to structure our work as well. So we, at the moment, have been prioritizing the sort of documentation of files and infrastructure, but we'll now move into a stage of assessment using things like the rapid assessment model and Drambora. We have a number of projects that are underway, um, even as we're sort of training ourselves up in this area. So this year, for the first time, we have finally implemented a workflow for our digitization projects so that preservation files like TIFF or JPEG, um, there's somewhere for them to go once projects are finished so that we don't end up with legacy issues of things being on hard drives or um, on LTO tape for years and years. And related to that, we're actually working with ICT on a, on a project to migrate older files off LTO and into the cloud we're also looking into persistent identification. So we um, currently don't have any kind of digital preservation software built into our digital repository. Um, we're reliant on URLs. So we're trying to get as much information as we can about um, permalinks, DOIs, handles, and things like that so that we can make a decision about long-term access to our digital collections and particularly the documents laid collection which is in very high demand um, from internal and external users so learnings and challenges i would say that um, and what i would recommend as well to other people who maybe are just starting out on this journey is that we have committed to doing a little on a regular basis um, we would love to be able to give more to digital preservation, but we're just very mindful that we are, we're a small team, we've limited resources, we don't have anyone who is a computer scientist or an IT expert um, on our team, we're very reliant on the support of our proprietary system suppliers. We're reliant on shared technical infrastructure with our organization. We're also just one unit among many in a large organization, and in this case, the National Parliament. So, you know, we're competing with other units for resources and for the attention um, of ICT and high level stakeholders and decision makers. Um, as I said earlier, we've put a lot of effort into internal engagement this year because we feel very strongly that there needs to be an organization-wide approach to this um, as we're we're all dealing with an increasing amount of digital data all the time and um, we have we certainly feel that we have planted the seed quite successfully we have got a lot of positive feedback um, from senior management and so we're feeling quite ambitious about what we can achieve in the next few years. And we're hoping that this is uh, the start of something really important for the Oireachtas Library, but for the houses of the Oireachtas as well as an organization. And that's it. So thanks very much and uh, happy to answer any questions about that or um, my contact details are there if anybody wants to get in touch about anything. Thank you.